Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another session. Today we are going to talk about the assignment that we were talking about in last session. That was about parking lot automation PLC project. What we discussed in last session was actually like we have a parking lot. Capacity of parking lot is four vehicles. If in the case four vehicles are already inside the parking lot, that time this parking lot will not any uh, is not gonna allow any vehicles to come in there and it is going to close the entry of upcoming uh, vehicles inside the parking lot. So how it's going to happen? We have uh, two barriers. Barrier at the inlet, uh, you can say at the incoming traffic, and barrier but when we have outgoing traffic outside. So ladies and gentlemen, we have sensor 1 and sensor 2 to take care about uh, two things like sensor 1 is going to take care about the traffic getting inside the parking lot and sensor is going to take care about the traffic going outside from the parking lot and in the PLC we have a program uh, in a such a way like I0.0 is going to take care of, uh, it's going to represent uh, sensor 1 and I0.1 is going to represent sensor 2 so and the parking lot we have uh, here Q0.0 that's going to be the output of the part like that if that uh, barrier is open that's gonna represent actually Q0.0 is gonna represent the barrier and if in the case barrier is open that Q0.0 is gonna be 1 that uh, gonna be high and we have another lamp here that lamp is gonna be red if in the case we have already four vehicles inside the parking lot so it's very simple just take a uh, you know sketch like in, like this like when there's a vehicle coming up we have to count up and when there's a vehicle going outside the parking lot at that time we have to kind of count down there so that's the program that was discussed in last class that that's going to be your assignment but the solution of that one was promised and here is the solution it's the time to program that so we just have to take on counter up and down because we have to count up and down in cases that we have park or vehicles come in inside the parking lot at that time we have to count up and when we have vehicles going outside the parking lot that time we have to count down right so that's the reason we have to choose the counter that can serve the purpose for that so we have a counter up and down instruction so I will just name it C1 and then after that we have this particular bit instruction when I will click that and now here I will just take the sensor 1 you remember that was I0.0 that is gonna calculate uh, the vehicles come in inside the parking lot so if a vehicle passes through that sensor this sensor is gonna give us output and that's the I0.0 I0 value is gonna come here and that gonna increment the counter up instruction here and we have at the oh uh, sorry this is not the right guy so we have to take that when vehicle is going outside we have another sensor sensor 2 that is I0.1 you remember that so then we have to calculate the current value of the counters because we have to measure how many vehicles are inside and based on that we have to decide whether we have vehicles equal to 4 that time we don't want any other vehicles coming in at that time we have to close the barrier right if we have vehicles equal to 4 at that time we have to close the barrier so NW10 we will just take a memory word MW10 and then after that we will utilize it how we will utilize it we have to take this SR instruction from here and then we will give Q0.0 to that. Q0.0 is what? Barrier. So when we have to open the barrier, uh, when we will have to open the barrier, case is very simple. When we have vehicle less than 4, at that time we have to open the barrier. So that's the reason we are looking for comparator instructions here, less than integer. So if MW10, that is the current value of the counter, if that value is less than how much sorry not 10 it's for the capacity of the vehicles that that's force four here in that case so if in the case we have the vehicles less than four at that time we want that particular output to be 
on like that barrier should be opened up I, that barrier is gonna allow the t traffic coming in that if it is open definitely vehicles will get inside so when we don't want that guy to be to be operational that's the time when we have equal integer how much vehicles inside mw10 if we have mw10 equal to 4 that time we want that q0.0 that is a barrier actually to be open uh, to be closed we talk about the light that's going to be indicating the driver coming out uh, from outside that the if in the case it's red that's going to show the driver that parking lot capacity is already reached so if we take that normally close contact that mean that we when we have a barrier closed when we will have a barrier closed when we have parking lot already full right so when we have this one uh, that particular barrier to be in the closed position at that time what we will do we will just try to take Q0.1 here where is the bit logic here yeah this one so what we will do we will take Q0.1 here and Q0.1 is what here Q0.1 is your light so when it is gonna glow when we have a barrier uh, barrier closed and no vehicles are coming in because it's not gonna be allowed at that time we will also turn on the red light okay so that's the whole program that's how we are gonna make that project and now it's the next step is to simulate that and it's very simple just click here download and we are done almost we will just try to run it from here and it's running now So I will just try to count you you see we have already count how many counts one is already so if in the case I will click it second time the count value is two and that time you can see it's less than four so that Q0.0 that mean barrier is open at that time and uh, vehicles are allowed to get inside so when it is three vehicles are getting in when it reaches to 4 you can see that Q0.0 is now low that means the barrier is going to be at that time closed so when barrier is closed at that time you can see this because this Q0.0 is low that time this will this path will be completed here and Q0.1 what is that that is the light red light that will turn on so that's the solution of the example that we talked about last time. If you like this video, thumbs up, man. Just like the button. And if in the case you are still confused, I tried my best to explain it, but it's still possible that you are confused somewhere. Just write in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much, everybody, for making this possible to have 5,000 subscribers. I want to, you know, like bring more valuable content every week so stay connected with ITN Automation Academy if you haven't yet turned on your notifications just turn on the notification by hitting the bell button there thank you very much assalamu alaikum <laughs>